Hey guys, me and Andrew are gonna be doing some detecting today. It's a nice uh, <laughs> early winter day in December, but it's warm and it might be rain, so uh, I'll let you know how it looks. Hey, we're uh, at a wood area right now, so promising, no grass. Later. Okay, guys, got an interesting signal. It's about five inches down. It's right here. It gives me a good 726 on my Explorer. So that's kind of a good copper signal. Let's see what we get here. Uh, no, nothing too special, I guess. Hmm. Some, some, some sort of wire. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Well, we got a coin deep in the root here. It's getting a kind of modern signal, so it's weird. So let's see what we have. I think it's a coin. Hmm. What do we have here? Sorry. Hmm. Not sure what that is. I'll have to give it a better clean. So after cleanup, this is what it is. V nickel 1899. Really nice shape. I'd like to thank Andrew for getting me out here. Say hi. Not a problem. <laughs> so That's a great start. Great start to the day. Check it out guys, I'm on the new side of Andrew. Let's pull this out of that hole. I think it's a largey. Don't open it up yet. Maybe uh pale and warm. No, I mean uh hmm. button button I imagine. Something like that. Anyway, it's right off the key. Now this toy cowboy just barely on the surface, it's barely in the ground. So it's had a so. weak but good signal. Here it is. Andrew's gonna do the extraction. You do. I don't think it's a large scent. It's one big coin. It is a coin though. It is a coin and it's a Bank of Upper Canada token. Yeah! Woo! Oh, shit. Looks in good shape? It looks to be, in, I can see. Yeah, it's got really nice patina on it. No water, just too fresh. <laughs> you can see Hello, Bank viewers. of Upper Canada. Yeah, it's got a guy with the horse on it. So it's 1850s probably. Oh yeah. Nice. Let's get a close up of that. Oh shit, that looks good. The date will be visible. Yeah, come on. Doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, this is gonna be nice, buddy. Why the hell am I happy? Token. Half penny token. Pause it and see if we can get a date. All right. Button maybe. Got to take copper. Oops. Hmm. Okay, there's a decent signal in here somewhere in the soul, so let's try to find it. Hmm. 
Where are you? Oh, well, hold on. Where did we get hit? Looks like we get a button. Shank is the top. Hey guys, so here's the roundup for my very good hunt with my buddy Andrew. These are from one site and this is from another. So let's start here. So from the first side we have this uh, kind of a coppery hook. Nothing too special here. And we get this one, I guess you guys saw in the video. It's copper and I'm pretty sure it's quite old. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, if you have clues, let me know. Still neat. And then there's this, the coinage. Oh, I'm very happy with this find. 1899 Victory Dime. Oh, it's in it's in really, really nice shape. As you can see, no damage. The back is also in really nice shape. See? Oh yeah, you can pretty much read everything. Really cool. So that was a great find. One of my first old American coins. Nice. So, second side. This side was pretty well too. Parts of the clock. See old gears and everything. This thing was deep, like a foot down or more. There's this weird copper thing that you saw in the video. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like there's a bit of silver plating in this part right here. Kind of see the glossiness. No idea. No idea. Probably old though. Of course, there's a lantern part. Regretfully, no, uh, no knob to date on. Too bad. Even too deep though. Still the dust coming off it. Some modern clad. Nothing too special. This is my toy cowboy. This is pretty neat. Pewter. Still some paint on them. It's probably like a gun and then a sword here or something. See? The bottom two holes. Looks really crude. I mean, almost like it was handmade. No writing though. I couldn't find any bit of writing on the guy. So I really wonder what, I, what this could be. <laughs> I got three buttons on this side. These three. This, eh, this might be some sort of brass uh, brass button or clip. It looks pretty old. There's like a square in the middle here. Come on, focus you. There's a hole here. But right in here where it connects and moves, there's a square. It's pretty old. This button here that you saw, the cleanup, it's got a nice patina. It says plated in the top. And here there's little stars around it. No idea. Beautiful button. If you guys know anything about these buttons, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear. And there's this one. And this one says, uh, Super Fine Color, Super Fine Color London. This is a nice one too. Awesome. And then my buddy informed me this is a dainty button because of its size. There's a little like four points inside, like stars almost. But I thought they were silver, but I'm pretty sure they're gold. It's got the shank has just been crushed. No writing. It's a big one. Probably from a coat. And I guess the finest haul of the trip. Another one. 1852 Bank of Upper Canada token. I'm not going to clean anymore as it is. It's beautiful. I'm really happy to find a second one. I can't believe it. The same year. There's the back. Maybe I'll clean the back just a little bit so you can see the writing more, but not much. It's in great shape. And wow, what a find. Can't believe it. Two tokens near the end of the year. Wow, that's, that's a hell of a haul. Well, there you guys have it.
hope you enjoyed the hunt and I'll talk to you later.